hey guys this is me your adobe xd designer and today i'm gonna teach you how to do this blur animation in adobe xd so let's get started so first of all i will add an artboard and then i will change its name to logo animation there we go and then i will change its color to black here it is my logo and then I will add a loading bar so here is a loading bar and and then I will make sure it is in the center and change its width to 247 yeah so it's in the center perfect so now I will copy this but first of all I will change its name to logo loading bar dash background and now i will copy and paste this loading bar and change its name to fill so now i will change its width to 2 pixel yeah so it will be more prominent so now i will change the color of top loading bar to white as you can see and change its width to 1 so it is very small little fill layer here so next step is I will add a blur box so here is the box and I will change its width according to my need here we go remove his border and change its color to black yeah perfect now I will use blur property and in blur property I will change the brightness to 0 and the amount of blur will be 18 yeah perfect so now i will add another box which will be black too so here it is and remove its border change its color to black and now i will rename these two boxes as this is our blur box so i will rename it blur box and the second one will be black box so I will change its name to box black so now uh, all the names are perfect so now I will copy this artboard and paste it here perfect so now uh, what I am gonna do is I will remove the opacity to move this opacity to zero of our blur box and our fill layer yeah this one and I will change the size to the background 247 here we go so as you can see now our fill layer is filled and now the next step is we are going to animate but Now I will copy this artboard and paste here. This is our third artboard and now we have our final transaction which is going down and I will change its opacity to I think 25. Uh, 25. Let's see what will happen. Now our next step is prototyping. So we will go to prototype mode and we will connect first two artboards and use the trigger time here and change the delay to 0.4 seconds and duration will be 0.8 is in out and our transaction will be auto animate so let's see nice so I will connect this artboard to this artboard and the properties will be same as you can see play again perfect so I think uh, I have to change the duration of this transaction maybe let's see what will happen yeah more smooth and faster 
so now I will do is just change the all these like this all and change the opacity to zero yeah I think it will be more accurate yeah that is nice so here is my blood animation guys hope you like this video and if you want some more animation like this one or this one please let me know 